Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Staff Sergeant Sean Hostetler. The Air Force celebrated a new milestone with the F-35A at Eglin Air Force Base, completing the first air-to-air -air refueling mission for the Lightning II. Lieutenant Colonel Eric Smith flew the mission. Smith was also the first Air Force pilot qualified to fly the new Joint Strike Fighter. 18 A-10C Thunderbolts landed in Lodges Field, the Azores, recently. The fleet of aircraft from the 175th Warfield Air National Guard in Maryland deployed in support of combat operations in Afghanistan. Airman First Class Ashley Corkins shows us how flight line airmen at Lodges work to support their guests. The Operations Support Squadron at Lodges welcome an A-10 squadron that is making their way east to support Operation Enduring Freedom. Lodges provides a strategic location for all transient aircraft crossing the Atlantic. Many aircraft cannot fly their duration over the entire Atlantic Ocean. And so with Lodges being here, it is a, a, uh, a bridge and a pit stop for them to uh, refuel their crew to get crew rest so they can continue on with their journey of their mission. It's not just the aircraft that need to refuel, the pilots also need a recharge. When they stop here, we offer them our lodges hospitality. We cook up burgers, we have beverages for them, uh, proper transportation to and from, and we're just here for them. If they need anything, that's what we're here for. It's this kind of attention that makes lodges an ideal location for pilots and crew to rest. We know that when we cross the pond, uh, it's going to be a seven plus hour sortie. We know we have multiple options of places that we can stay, but we come in here, we get the best hospitality, the best welcoming, and uh, just makes the trip a lot easier. As aircraft hit the runway in the middle of the Atlantic, Lodge's airmen are always ready to support them. Uh, without these aircraft, we would not be able to fill our mission here of ground handling of fighter aircraft transitioning to and from the AOR. I am Airman First Class Ashley Corkins, Lodge's Field, Azores. Conducting training exercises is just one example of how the military prepares for emergencies. Tech Sergeant Lisa Carlson shows us how airmen deployed to the 379th Air Expeditionary Wing learn what to expect when something unexpected occurs. The 379th Air Expeditionary Wing trained its first responders in a mass casualty exercise while being deployed to Southwest Asia. First responders for this particular training required mortuary affairs, security forces, medical services, explosive ordnance disposal, and the fire department. It's very important to train like it's real because, I mean, that's what, that's what we do. We're here to defend our country. Anytime you're on U.S. military base, it's always a threat for us to get hurt. The uh, mass casualty situation, such as a bomb going off uh, in a, inside a crowded theater, we had our first responders on scene, and then after which uh, they, they brought out the victims, and then it became a med group kind of responsibility to see how the group handles a large number of casualties uh, more than normal. It takes a lot of coordination and a, a lot of moving parts uh, to execute this thing, and uh, I'm really proud of the work everyone did. It also builds uh, confidence in our processes and our and our individuals when they get a chance to actually act out and play out uh, the things that they uh, read and learn and they do this for real world it builds confidence in what they do. As a first time exercise participant during his first deployment, Senior Airman James Hammonds, aerospace mechanic, sums it all up. Trying to uh, do it as, as real as life uh, as it could be. That way they can have a better idea of what they're uh, doing. Reporting from Southwest Asia. You guys ready? You prepare to lift? I'm Technical Sergeant Lisa Carlson. Prepare to move. That wraps up today's edition of Around the Air Force. For more on today's top stories, be sure to check out the Air Force's official website, Athlink. Once there, scroll down to the middle of the page for more in-depth Air Force feature stories and exclusive web content at the new Airman Magazine website. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and leave us a comment to let us know what you think at facebook.com forward slash Air Force TV. From Air Force Studios at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Staff Sergeant Sean Hostetler. Thanks for watching.